working to take this one to three. Let's see what they can do during the sandstorm period. We have a hatch panel on the move already on that blue line side. Looks like it's going to be placed on that center cargo chip on that blue line side. And also some cargo has been scored by CPR on blue. We have a hatch panel placed successfully by two, three Red Alliance robots. All three Alliance robots on the red side placing a hatch panel during that sandstorm, but it's cleared up now and our drivers can see. Code orange on red. After placing that hatch panel, they're looking to move on to some cargo, but they're hitting some defense from the Commodores on blue. CPR is looking to line up a second hash panel on that blue lens cargo ship, and they do so successfully. That's two more points and more scoring positions for that cargo. Red Alliance is in an early lead. Code Orange placing a second piece of cargo. That's a two more pieces of cargo scored in that Red Alliance rocket so far. Meanwhile, we've got Cal Robotics in red, and they're working on the, car the Red Alliance rocket on that other side. They're bringing up one more hatch panel, and that looks like it's going to be placed, lined up, and a successful, not quite, we're going to see if they can get that placed in time on the Red Alliance side. Meanwhile, on blue, we've got CPR placing more cargo. That's two pieces of cargo placed in that Blue Lands cargo ship. And now CPR is moving on to the cargo ship side. So now the CPR is placed in the cargo ship and the rocket for the Blue Alliance, trying to close that gap. Red Alliance still in the lead. Code Orange placing a hatch panel on that Red Alliance cargo ship, making all of those scoring positions available on that Red Alliance cargo ship to be filled with cargo in the final minute of the match. Apex Robotics playing some, getting some defense over there on the Red Alliance side, and they were beginning defended against by HVA Rohoctics. They were up on top of some cargo there, but they freed themselves, and now Rohoctics back into the defensive mode, blocking Apex Robotics from getting that hatch panel over to the cargo ship. Apex Robotics trying to close off the remaining hatches on that Blue Lens cargo ship, but the defense from Red is not letting them get over. With 35 seconds remaining, the defense still coming in strong on the Blue Alliance side. Commodore is playing strong defense against Code Orange, but now they've let them go, and Code Orange scores three more points of cargo in that Red Alliance cargo ship. We're at the final 20 seconds now, and it's only an eight-point difference between these two teams. Climbing under the half could make a difference. Code Orange doesn't make that last and final score with 15 seconds remaining. Their alliance partners in red. HVA Rohoctics, they're up a level two for six. On blue, we got CPR up for six points. Looks like we got Apex up for 12 points. On the Red Alliance, we've failed to get up to level three from Code Orange. We got one Red Robot up on level two and one their alliance partner, Cal Robotics, on level one. It's a pretty close match. What you see on the screen is not necessarily the final score. These climbing points need to be added on. 3 on blue, 72 on red with offsetting penalties. A one point win for Alliance number seven to take it to a third match in this matchup. We're gonna see these teams on the field, these alliances one more time to see who moves on to the semifinal.